Hello uh, guys, good evening, good evening to all, this is uh, Mike Padua and we are back to our latest weather analysis for this uh, Thursday to Saturday, November 9 to 11, 2023 and this is our English uh, version for to you by Typhoon 2000 and this is also in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Abuitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Ligacion and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Camarani Sur. And before we begin, we would like also to promote the uh, uh, Comunidad Climate Action Center. If you are an LGU or uh, company, organization willing to have your own climate action center, just visit our website typhoon2000.ph and click on the banner of Comunidad for you to go to a Google form for you to uh, answer some uh, questions and then uh, submit it and you will be uh, contacted by Aaron Cabasal or you can also email or uh, text him at uh, Aaron.Cabasal at Comunidad.co or at 0976-163-7245 so that's the Climate Action Center of Comunidad and uh, let's begin now with our latest update. Here's the uh, graph set for today, Thursday, until tomorrow, Friday. It looks like the uh, low pressure system 95W remains uh, uncertain. Okay, the forecast of November 17 has again moved back a bit to November 18, and that's how uh, tricky the forecast models. If you are looking at five to ten days from now it's like uh, playing darts wherein your dartboard is so far away okay so it's really difficult to hit the bullseye okay so that's the forecast of five to ten days but when the forecast is already within five to three days to go just imagine the dartboard is moving closer uh, from you okay so that's uh, how uh, forecast uh, function in this age of uh, uh, super computers okay it's still difficult to forecast especially if you are more than five to ten days that's why in forecasting uh, tropical cyclones or typhoons it's still better to look at three to five day forecast compared to 5 to 10 days or even more than that because the American model is more than 10 up to 14 days that's the uh, extended set of the forecast model of uh, GFS or the American model well the European model is only up to 10 days that's why the accuracy is much much better compared to the American model okay now uh, Let's uh, explain now the graph set. We have the easterlies from the northeast monsoon. It shifted to easterlies and we are uh, having some dry conditions mainly due to the effect of the uh, El Nino which uh, generates uh, fewer rainfall but there are still some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening. We have a departing surface trough. This was once 94W and it's just uh, its remnants moving across the Spratly Islands, also affecting the Kalayan Island group. And outside of PAR, like I said, we are still monitoring 95W. It's still uncertain and the forecast of uh, 8 to 9 days has moved back further. During our last uh, analysis, we said that on November 17, the forecast models is likely to pass over Mindanao. But right now, we have a latest uh, forecast. It shows that the forecast uh, has moved back a bit. And it's now uh, November 18, but still over ocean, not yet making landfall compared to the other uh, forecast two days ago, making landfall over Mindanao on November 17. But on November 18, the uh, European model shows the system is here and the American model also shows the system somewhere uh, here here so it's now pointing over 
uh, the general direction of uh, Samar or Bicol area. So this is quite alarming, but no worries because that's eight to nine days. Like I said, it's like playing darts, wherein the dartboard is so far away. If you try to uh, hit it with a dart, it won't hit on the bullseye part. Maybe it will also miss the uh, board itself. So that's how uncertain these forecasts are. So we still don't know. And we have another shallow LPA here forming to the east of 95W, which is also something that we are going to observe or to observe, uh, to watch, I mean, uh, following um, 95W. So uh, there you go. Uh, the Easterlies uh, will uh, prevail for the next 24 hours. And on Saturday, we'll be giving you another outlook or forecast of LPA 95W which is still uh, very hard to forecast, okay? Since it's more than 5 days, 5 to 10 days. But if you're within 1 to 5 days, it's not yet uh, expected to uh, become a tropical cyclone. So uh, let's relax and uh, pray that the system won't make landfall over the Philippine Islands during the 3rd or 4th quarter of November okay so let's uh, take a look now at the fast animation so here is the uh, LPA right now slow moving has just passed to the west southwest of uh, Chuk State and uh, we are going to observe this closely in the coming uh, days particularly this weekend and here's another shallow LPA and as we look at the zoom in satellite animation, everything is quiet across the Philippine Islands, less thunderstorms, particularly over Mindanao and Visayas. And if we take a look now at the easterlywave.com latest on the European model ensemble, it's still the same, but uh, it's now showing two tropical systems. The, f the first one is 95W, this one, and uh, it's getting stronger on the latter part of the track becoming a uh, tropical storm or a typhoon as it causes uh, the country but no worries that's still uh, highly uncertain and uh, we have another one here which is uh, not yet sure since the uh, ensemble is uh, only a few a few lines a few dots and for the wind and pressure forecast from the European model for the next three days until Sunday and we will extend it until Monday Tomorrow afternoon, we expect easterlies shifting again from the northeasterly wind flow from east to the northeast, affecting Bicol region and the eastern sections of the zone, but uh, still dry. And here's LPA 95W, Saturday, November 11. Uh, northeasterly wind flow will continue to prevail over the eastern sections of Luzon, including Bicol and the coastal waters of eastern Visayas. And here is now LPA 95W becoming an active low pressure area south of Guam. Sunday afternoon, November 12, LPA 95W slow moving. It's still very uh, close from the Phoebus, uh uh, position of November 11 so it's uh, almost stationary and here's uh, another blast or surge of the northeast monsoon approaching uh, extreme northern zone it's already affecting Taiwan Strait and the northern portions of the West Philippine Sea and South China Sea area and November 13 Monday the LPA is still there Okay, quasi stationary south of Guam, and the northeast monsoon is already over extreme northern Luzon, extending across the coastal waters of eastern Luzon. So that's the forecast for the next three to four days. Now, if we move from five to uh, nine day forecast, which is highly uncertain, not yet sure, this is what it says. There you go. 
So this is 18. This is November. I mean, November 17 Friday and November 18 Saturday. Uh, we could see the 95W becoming a tropical depression or even uh, a weaker tropical storm as it uh, mm, collides with the uh, northeast monsoon. So this is the northeast monsoon now affecting Bicol region and uh, northern portions of Samar. And there is a uh, shear line or a possibility of a tail end of a frontal system could uh, connecting with uh, LPA 95W. So it's still uh, uncertain and very low probability. So we will keep you updated on that. Now let's take a look at the American model. Let's move back to Monday, November 13. Here's the American model. There you go. November 14. Moving westward. And there's another one here at the back. November 15. The one here and the 95W will uh, merge. November 16. It will be just a single tropical cyclone intensifying rapidly to the southwest of Guam. November 17, Friday. It will accelerate to the west, southwest towards eastern Visayas as a tropical storm or a severe tropical storm. And there's another one here developing into a tropical cyclone east, southeast of Guam or just to the north of Pompeii Island in central Micronesia. And Saturday, November 18, you can see here that LPA 95W is already a uh, severe tropical storm or a minimal typhoon, category 1 typhoon or even category 2. Because uh, like I said in the past, computer models are conservative when it comes to lower atmospheric pressure. And the northeast monsoon is being enhanced by bringing uh, windy conditions over the region, particularly the coastal waters. And we have two tropical cyclones at the back. This is a newly developed tropical depression and a tropical storm or a severe tropical storm uh, on the uh, east of the other one. So that's the American model. As you know, this, uh, this forecast is not yet sure. 0 to 20% uh, probability. And look at the uh, European model. It's nothing, just 95W. So we will keep you updated on that. All I can say right now is to watch and observe the progress of 95W. There's nothing to worry about unless we are entering the five-day forecast. And that's the time that we must prepare if the system is headed towards the Philippine Islands. But as of now, uh, we hope and pray that the system will track towards the north, a curve, and it's still early to uh, tell where it will go. That's why I always say it's still highly uncertain. Computer models are haywire, not agreeing with each other. So we will wait and see on uh, the progress of LPA 95W. Here's the rainfall accumulation for the next three days. And look at that. It's quite dry across the Philippine Islands except for some isolated thunderstorms. These are patches of thunderstorms, particularly over uh, eastern sections of northern Quezon from Baler. Baler is Aurora. Okay, so we include that. And also in Fanta. Uh, Mauban and Real Quezon, and also across the coastal areas of Camarines Sur, Camarines Norte, Canandoanes, eastern sections of Albay, Sosegon, there might be some chances of isolated rain showers and thunderstorms. That's for the next three days, and you can see here at the eastern portion, and this is now on LPA 95W, you see that violet thing? That's the rainfall signature of more than 100 millimeters in 24 to 72 hours. Okay, and before we leave, here's the latest Global Topics Hazards Outlook. This is the new one released uh, yesterday, valid for the next two to three weeks. And uh, for week two, valid November 15 to 21, the Philippine Islands and the Western Pacific. 
after the West Philippine and South China Seas remain at more than 20% of tropical cyclone formation. 20% probability, so it's not yet sure. And then, on week 3, valid November 22 to November 28, continued uh, more than 20% low probability of tropical cyclone formation will be expected across the Philippine Islands, uh, the Western Pacific, from Guam or Central Micronesia up to the coastal waters of Vietnam. So, uh, we have two to three weeks of uh, more than 20% probability or low probability of tropical cyclone formation so that's why we are monitoring 95w and the uh, other one at the back for developments in the coming days but we will keep you updated on thursday i mean on saturday excuse me on saturday we will be back to give you the weekend edition of our tropical cyclone analysis or tropical weather analysis on what will be the uh, new forecast of LPA 95W. Okay, so uh, have a great evening. Uh, stay safe always. And thank you so much for watching our channel.